Hola everybody, Vince Bogna here. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. This video is going to show you how to remote control a computer tied with your LogMeIn accounts through an app called LogMeIn Ignition for mobile devices. Yes, LogMeIn Ignition is available for all iOS devices because it's a universal app or your Android device because it's compatible with Android as well. So basically, LogMeIn is a service that allows you to remote control your computer via another computer. And I did a video tutorial on how to set up an account and how LogMeIn works um, last year. And um, it's titled, How to Remote Control a Computer Remotely, Free and Easily with LogMeIn. And you can view that video by clicking on the link in the description or by clicking this annotation. Um, this is a follow-up video to that video, so if you're not sure how LogMeIn works or if you don't have an account, I recommend you go to that video right now before watching this video. All right, so, LogMeIn Ignition. Let's go to the app right now and check it out. So here's LogMeIn. Essentially, it's going to ask you to log in to your LogMeIn account, and then it will bring up your computers. So here's Vint's desktop. My desktop's right here. That's my desktop computer. I want to click Vint's desktop, and these three options pop up. The remote control icon, the file manager icon, and information icon. I'm going to click on remote control first. I'll bring up a new window. It'll load my computer. At this point, it's going to ask you for your um, computer access code or your computer login info. And after you enter that in, it will log you into your computer. These are remote control hints that will pop up every time you log into a computer. You can turn it off by clicking on uh, off next to show hints. But I like to keep them on because I love learning uh, the gestures. So there's one finger to move around, pinch to zoom out, single taps or single clicks, double taps or double clicks two finger taps or right clicks, etc, etc. You can read this on your own when you open up LogMeIn Ignition. And I'm going to click on Continue to Computer. And here's my desktop computer. See, this is Windows 7 on my computer. And here's the window of my um, Logitech webcam software. This is how I'm recording uh, this video right now. So I can minimize. So I just minimized. And I can hit Start. And all programs. And I can bring up the keyboard by scrolling three fingers up, three fingers down to bring it back. You can zoom in by pinching into zoom. So here's my start menu zoomed in. I can go to Spotify. And Spotify opened on my second monitor, so I'm going to use three fingers to scroll to the left to view my second monitor. And here's Spotify. I can go to my start music. And I can play music because I'm remote controlling my computer. And that song is called The Typewriter. I actually did a video on The Typewriter. It's a little act. I mean, click on this annotation by viewing that video. So that's just a little off topic plug there. So that's TweetDeck. Now let's go back to my main uh, monitor by scrolling to the right. Now let's say you want to manage your files. Um, you can disconnect here and session. Now we're back on this screen and if you want to view your files that are on your computer you can click on the second button right here. The little paper icon. And then I can go to my C drive. Here's my C drive. And you have a little file manager with the Log Me and Ignition app so you can access your file. So I'm going to go to Users, Fence, go to my Pictures, let me go to my Picture Dropbox because I have a folder named Picture Dropbox. Let me open up my current avatar on Twitter, Vince Bognot, BWME. And I click on that file and I can click Open. You can save an offline copy in Ignition by clicking on on. If you want this to be your choice for every file, you can switch it to on. But I'm not going to do this in this case, I just want to open the file. And here's the picture file that's on my desktop computer. And I opened it with the LogMeIn Ignition app uh, with the file manager. Isn't that cool? And this works with the iPhone as well. So let's open up LogMeIn Ignition with my iPhone 4. 
All right, so here's my iPhone 4 with the Logman Ignition app. It's basically a mini version of the iPad app, but um, it's still really functional. So I can go to Vince Desktop and click on Remote Control. And now I am going to connect to my computer. It's prompting me for my access code. Let me enter that in real quick. It's going to load my desktop. It brings up some remote control hints like I did with the iPad. Same controls. I'm going to switch to landscape. And here's my desktop. I can zoom in by pinching in. And basically, instead of moving the cursor around to remote control your desktop, you're moving your desktop around and the cursor stays in the middle of the screen. So if you want to hit the start button, you're moving your screen to the start orb. You'll open your start menu. And you can do anything you want to do as if you were sitting in front of your desktop. I can end the session. Then I can view the file manager by clicking on this icon to load all my files. And there's the file manager. So that's basically it. Whether it be on an iPad or iPhone, the Logman Ignition app is a great app that allows you to remote control your computers. So that's basically it. That's Logman Ignition in a nutshell. Thank you very much for tuning into this video and have a good day.